Hey everybody, it's Peter. Welcome to my garage. Now it is the day after Christmas. It is freezing cold outside, so I don't have a well-lit garage for video, but we're gonna make do with it. Hopefully in editing, it'll look just bright enough. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take this off by yourself in a matter of minutes using that. Now, if that intrigues you, it is top lift pros that makes that. And there's a whole bunch of little tips and tricks I'm gonna to talk to you about taking the hard top off and uh, using this system here. So there's a quick little time lapse I'm gonna show you, which basically sums up the video. It's the time lapse that I put on my Instagram. If that interests you after the time lapse, then stay tuned because I'll show you all the detail details that make this easy and that great. Here's the time lapse. It's pretty slick, right? All right, so this video, well, first thing, uh, I don't know if I said this already, it is not sponsored. I paid virtually full price for that. There was a Boxing Week sale where I saved several hundred dollars, uh, but this is just my impression of how it works. As far as assembling it, it shows up in two boxes. I am not handy. And I put it together, no problem. It's quite simple. They have videos online, which is what I followed. There's also a, um, you know, a detailed color picture instruction, step-by-step -step instruction, which I only use to double check my work at the end. Uh, you don't need that. It's super simple. All the parts come, very simple. And I've heard that their customer support is very good as well. So no problem that way. Let's just show you the basics of how this works. First of all, um, let's just talk really quickly why I'm doing this and uh, why you may want to do it. If you're ordering a new Jeep, you're probably going to go with the dual top package, right? Well, if you do that, that's what this Jeep was supposed to come with, but I dealt with a sketchy dealer and um, it's not the dealer that I'm associated with now that I do videos for daily, they're amazing. But the sketchy dealer I bought this from before I was attached to that uh, good dealer uh, told me that this Jeep did not come with a soft top. It does, there's hardware inside that proves that it should have but they didn't give it to me. So I had two options, buy a soft top or get this hard top on and off. Now I'll be honest, a soft top can be a little complicated and I don't love the look of this top down with the soft top. I love the look with it different because the soft top kind of bunches kind of weird. Um, it looks cooler and if you look at all the Jeep ads, they never show it with a top soft top down. They show it with all the hard top removed. It looks cool, I have a garage, so you know the ability to take this on and off quickly mattered to me. So when you're taking the top off, you've gotta disconnect an electrical piece inside. We're gonna show you about that. You have to disconnect a, um, the rear wiper washer. Super simple to do if you know how to do it. We'll talk about that. And then you gotta take out eight screws. So just on the inside here, one, two, three, and four. Same thing on the other side, and they come off. Now, if you buy a Jeep Wrangler, you're gonna get a little toolkit like this that comes with it. If you plan on doing this regularly, taking it off more regularly, you're going to want to uh, buy something like this. This is pretty simple. It is a electric socket tool. Uh, basically, instead of having to swing a socket, you throw this on, you spin it, it comes right off. It's got about 30 foot pounds of pressure that it can put down uh, to tighten things. Uh, I find this is just super convenient. Don't over tighten anything. Don't get anything super strong. Uh, I didn't buy the super you know, heavy duty battery. I just need it for stuff like this and it works well. The reason this is good is it allows you to get into the tight spaces in here very easily and quickly take off the, the bolts or the screws. It also lets you take the doors off and if you've ever taken the doors off with a ratchet, just the amount of movement you're gonna do makes you worried about damaging the paint. This one you just set it into the um, screws, press the button and things come off. So let's talk about really quickly how to do this. I've already taken the screws out for this video but again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With that tool, it's like a minute, minute and a half. Then next thing you're gonna wanna do is open the doors. Now I've already taken the freedom panels off. Make sure you do that first as well. The only reason I'm opening the doors is there is a little seal um, on the door. It doesn't really get in the way. So this sort of rounded and sort of soft seal does sort of fit in here. Like I said, it doesn't really get in the way, but I just, feel like anything that comes in contact with the soft or with the hard top, you should remove. So at that point, it's super simple. You open the back door here, you open the tailgate here. I've disconnected the wiring harness and the, um, and the hose for the washer fluid. There is a little bit of cable hanging down there. You're gonna clear this out. You're basically gonna allow this to touch the bumper, come just in, around the bumper and watch this. Press it down till it touches, it's locked in place. Give it a little bit of force with one person. 
boom. I'm gonna go one more, there we go. It is fully off here, it's fully off there. We're gonna walk it away, it's on wheels. So, at this point, it is off, and I'm just gonna hide it in the corner here for now. We could wheel it around the garage. If you don't have a big garage, I am blessed with some space here. Not everybody has that same amount of space. Let's just close this for now. If I didn't have the space that I have, I can wheel this around in other parts of my garage. But if you wanted more space, or you needed more space, I can now turn the Jeep around and park it nose first underneath here, and it really doesn't take up a ton of space. That's one of the big benefits of something like this. I just like that it comes off in a huge hurry, makes it super simple, and uh, that's how it works. So again, easy to assemble, easy to come off. So let's talk about some of those details with how to get it off and on, and in fact, let's just throw it back on really quickly so you can see how easy that is as well. What I like is this is virtually impossible to do with one person. I've got a bit of a sketchy back and uh, there's no way I'm lifting this even with another person. But what I like is I can do this as quick as most people can do a soft top by the time you get all those windows in with the power tool on those screws. So wheeling it back in. Some people are gonna wonder, does this uh, balance well? Does it stay, is it secure? It's totally secure. There are a couple extra rails you can mount in if you're just using this for long-term storage, but for short-term storage, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It depends on your risk tolerance. It's, uh, you know, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's nice and secure. All right, dropping it on can be a little finicky. So I'm just gonna kind of wheel it square. There's a little brake lever like a bicycle brake. You're gonna pull this while putting some weight on it. That's gonna release the brake. It comes down, backs on, backs on there. And I might be missing it a hair and that's okay if I do. Yep, just kind of missed it a little bit. So we're gonna pull this right out. No big deal. You can see it's a little off there. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a jiggle. There we go. It is fully secured on this side and I think that the other side's fine as well. Boom, it's on, put in the screws, you're good to go. So let's talk about some of the details with how this works. All right, I'm filming with a flashlight because again, I'm not letting natural light in here because it's warm in my garage. So to get the wiring harness on or off, I have it back on just because it seems like people have more trouble getting it off than on. So let's first talk about the, uh, the little hose for your washer fluid. Very simply, this right here is a little uh, push button right there. So you're gonna push that in, you're gonna pull that out, and that is how it releases. So over there is your push, and it releases just like that. And simple, simple, simple. And then what you have is the little red button here. You're gonna press this down. Now this can take a little bit of force. I'm gonna cheat and use my flashlight right now. And as we do that, we're gonna pull this like this. There we go. It is loose, you could use a screwdriver, you could use anything else, but that is pretty simple. So once you do that, you're gonna press in on this red. So once it's pulled down, you press in on that red tab and it releases right there. So it's a little tricky to get this to pull down. Mine's a little dirty, that's probably part of the problem. But once you get it pulled straight down, then you're gonna press in to release. And then you just click this into this section here, which I'm gonna show you like this. Uh, there we go. It clicks in like that and this washer fluid hose sits into this little clip like that. And that means that when you're driving around with the top off, these things aren't rattling around. To put them back on, way simpler. Just press that in again. As you push it on, it's latched in. Pull this out of here. If I can do that with my one hand. Well, I'll have to do it without the flashlight. There we go. Easy to come out of there and click it in there till it clicks. Click that tab up and it clicks and you're done. Next thing I do is tighten up the eight screws. Let's show you how to do a couple of those real quick. All right, one thing that I thought was common knowledge is I thought sort of everybody knew that you could put all your bolts down here. So you can take your door bolts off there, you can take your roof bolts off there, and windshield bolts there. The only thing I find is if you take all four doors off, there's actually an extra screw that kind of allows the door to stay stopped, sort of halfway open. Uh, those screws don't seem to me to have a spot if you take everything off, so you can put those here. The windshield folding down, I could show you another video if you really wanted to see it. I've done it once. Um, you know, not super practical, but all of the door, the roof screws there are labeled with roof right there. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that says roof right there. And uh, then you have the screws right there. So super simple. You're just gonna grab them out of there and let's show you how to screw them in. All right, one thing to watch out for is something like this. All of your screws should look like this where the washer is just free. Sometimes you're gonna have the 
some, the washers get stuck in there. So you just gotta spin them around, play with them a little bit until they loosen up and make sure they're flush with the uh, bolt. But you also wanna make sure that they are on there. So you're gonna need the washer as well. Just double check that before you start throwing them in. All right, socket stuff, pretty simple. If you just use the hand tool from Jeep, it's pretty simple. Get it started with your fingers first because you don't wanna cross thread anything. And then I'm gonna cheat and use this and you can see why in a second. Simple, simple, simple. Now I could snug that a little bit more with the machine, but that is all you need. Uh, it'll stop at 30 foot pounds. I didn't go that much, but that saves a ton of time and you can see how quickly it takes to take it out. So let's just do the same thing. Cause when I talk about taking the top off easily, check this out, set it in there. Spin, spin, spin. And all of those are out. So super simple, super quick. We're going to do the eight of those and then we're going to close it up. It's very important to remember the screw at the very top here. Again, always start by hand tightening it in just to make sure there's no issues, no stiffness, no cross threading, no nothing like that. Once you've got it started, nice and easy. And again, just, I got two fingers on the tool here. It sounds like it's really working, but I can really feel the pressure. You don't have to go super, super, super tight. It's just snugged up. Easiest way to get to that, again, is stand on the side of the Jeep. Don't try to do a blind because you never know if there's any debris or anything in there. You don't want to start jamming stuff in there. Keep it clean. I'll do one more and it's done. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this really quickly because as you can see, this is all that's lifting the top. Now that made me nervous when I saw it in the ads because so much of the top hangs out this way and it just feels like it shouldn't be stable. Once I had it on, it's actually very stable. I was impressed with that, but you do have these as well. So these are, uh, whether it's two door or four door, the four door just is two pieces. I don't know if you can see in the middle here, kind of joined together in two pieces. Uh, what they do is they slide into the end here and there are ways to attach them a little bit more secure than what I'm gonna do right now. But they slide in like that and you can adjust these ends here and secure them in so they can kind of support that. If, you're, if you were storing the, the top long term or if there's people like bumping it around potentially, uh, I would put those in for sure. They kind of thought of everything. It's super simple to do. So when you're actually lifting, those bars can't be in, those black bars, because again, the roll bar will be in the way. That's why it doesn't have them in. When you're actually lifting, uh, it's got like a bicycle brake type thing. And as you push up, you can hear it click. It ratchets up like that. And then you're gonna pull this bicycle brake handle on my right side here. Let's bring the camera closer. I'll show you how it works. So you're pulling this brake handle right here and it's releasing this teeth tooth teeth mechanism, I don't know if that's a word, but it's releasing that. So you gotta put a little bit of weight on it when the top's on, and you just use your arms and stuff to allow it to lower down like that. Raising it up is no problem, you just yank it, and it clicks no problem, but lowering it, it will stay on that, uh, no problem, nice and secure, without pulling this brake lever which releases it, and it can't go past that spot right there. So super slick little uh, system here that again shows you sort of right there where it latches let's just pull it up again i'm going to pull the brake lever so it goes nice and quietly but yeah really slick system uh, i'm surprised at how easy it is it is available with a powered system i don't know that you'd need it i guess if you have really not a lot of strength at all but it, it's it's counterbalanced right so it it's leverages the top off for you it's super simple to do with one person all right, so let's talk about some cons with this system. First of all, it's expensive. Uh, if you want to just take the hard top off uh, on its own, there are various hoist type systems. There's people on YouTube and you can find them that kind of rig up their own system, you know, for, you know, 15 or $20 to do it. I had a system that I used one time on this Jeep that cost me about seven or eight or 10 bucks. I had a two by four with some stuff and some rope and all this stuff. Uh, I got the top off, but it was super sketchy getting it back on. There are good systems for several hundred dollars that can raise it and they can uh, attach it to the roof. Why didn't I get that? Well, first of all, I find that that is a little sketchy for me and I don't necessarily want it at a fixed point in my garage roof. I have got a kayak over there. I've got some other things around here. I have lots of floor space in my garage and I like the ability to just back the thing in, lift it off, wheel it to where I wanna put it in my garage and then easily put it back on. To me, this is a simpler system to lift off the Jeep top than some of those uh, hoist type systems. It depends on what you wanna do. Um, you know, like, like I said, there's cheaper ways, there's other ways. What I really like about this is how secure it is. You walk in the back, you push it down, it's secure, it's stable, and the ability to park the front of the Jeep underneath it when it's off gives me an option. 
I think, and I used to have a two-door soft top. Now the new soft tops, they slide in. There's no Velcro and no zippers anyways on those. Um, I found with the zipper system on my old two-door, this with my powered ratchet type tool, I can take the hard top off as quickly as I used to be able to put the soft top on and off. And again, the cleaner look of no soft top components, I kind of like. Maybe it's good for you, maybe it's not good for you. They also make a door cart. They actually have a, an, a door attachment on this. You could lift off the doors with the attachment. For me, I don't think, that, think that's a big problem. I find the doors are pretty easy to get on and off. But I did take the door cart from them because again, it's on casters, it's really compact. I can do another video on that if you want. If you want to see more things, how to take doors off, how to fold the windshield down, Jeep related stuff, let me know in the comments below and I'll make that for you. And if you don't uh, watch this channel regularly, I do have a whole bunch of things. I review vehicles regularly. I review Kawasaki motorcycles regularly, Piaggio and Vespa scooters and Pedego e-bikes. Literally every weekday I'm making a video, just taking some time off at Christmas and that's why I'm here filming in my own garage. But do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're interested and we'll follow up with more. And let me know what you think of this system. Um, you know, tell me some of the pros, tell me some of the cons. Uh, so far, pretty slick system. The only con, like I said, is the expense. But for me, having come from a Jeep that was supposed to have a soft top and didn't, this is cheaper than a soft top and it serves my purposes great. So thanks everybody for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, January 3rd, I'm back doing the regular reviews that I used to do for Jim Gilbert's Wheels and Deals. I wanna thank them for uh, allowing me to do videos on my own as well as with them. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.